We are here in the dojo at Strozzi Institute, and uh, dojo in its original uh, Sanskrit means a place of gathering for training and a place to gather to awaken. Um, so we use the dojo metaphor in a lot of our work, and we have a bird nest in the far corner, which is all the chirping you'll hear in the background. So our friends the birds are with us today. Um, in what I want to uh, walk us through is a standard practice, a basic standard practice at Strozzi uh, called the centering practice. So what we're doing inside of centering is we're getting uh, connected to ourselves, getting present in ourselves and in our environment, and most importantly connected to what it is we're committed to and what we care about. This is a practice that we invite people to do multiple times a day. Um, one, to get us back in the game and go, wow, how do I want to respond instead of react to whatever the thing is that just came into my inbox, onto my cell phone, onto my text message, or one of my kids, right, whatever it is. Um, and then also what we're practicing and centering over time is embodying what it is that we're committed to and what it is we care about so that it becomes almost habit to act from there and speak from there. So centering practice, the first thing we want to do is bring, drop your attention into your feeling self. And by that we mean drop your attention to your sensations, like temperature or pressure or movement, what you might feel in your body. So dropping your attention down while keeping your eyes in the room. We're practicing centering and being out in the world at the same time. Again, so we're bringing those two together. We don't have to go away to settle ourselves. We can do that while we're present. So dropping into the feeling self, you wanna bring your attention just about an inch below your belly button and you can put your hand there if it's easier to feel. And then you can drop your breath behind that too, but really feel your hand and put your attention there. This is what we're gonna call center. And this is really the center of gravity for us when we're standing up on two legs. This is our center of gravity. So from center, we're gonna deal with four dimensions or four directions. The first is that we're gonna center in length. And that means really coming into your full length, moving up toward the sky or the ceiling and down to the earth or the ground at the same time. So settling our weight down and letting ourselves lift up, making more space between the vertebra. In many ways, this whole practice is a reminder to fill yourself out, yeah? So one of the ways we look at length is that you're centering in your own dignity and being able to recognize and see that in other people. So centering in length. The second dimension is width. I'm gonna invite you to center in width by filling out into the full width of your shoulders, your waist, your hips, your stance. Let yourself widen out. Many of us, through just the pressures in the world and in our lives, curl up, right? And we take up much, much less of our width than we actually have available to us. So centering in our width, we also look at as centering in the social space or community, where we're coming back into contact with others and letting others contact us. Centering in interdependence, you can think of it that way. So centering in width. The third dimension is depth front to back. So you could bring your attention to feeling the clothes on your back or feeling behind your knees. From the back coming through to the front, so you might also feel your heartbeat or whatever's happening in your stomach or your guts right now. And then coming to the front side. So we're really expanding into this dimension of depth, again, letting ourselves fill out more, get more present. Depth, we look at as being connected to history, our own skills and competence, kind of who has our back, and then being able to connect to what we care about and the future. So the past, what we really care about, and then moving that into the future is centering in depth. Length, width, depth, dropping into our felt sensations like we're learning to in some ways embody ourselves again. The fourth thing that we look at in the centering practice is that you center on what it is that you're committed to. And that might be in the realm of leadership, 
It might be in the realm of your contribution to the world. It might be in your family or your relationships. But we develop commitments. So I am a commitment to, and then we'd answer that question really based on what truly matters to you. So center on what you care about and really let that fill you up.